I call it a privilege, but more so a blessing to be a part of the Guyana Mission Trip 2012 in Belgium. I was but a vessel in the work of God, and just to know that I was able to make a difference in someone's life was part. And that was introducing them to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Everywhere you go, you see people with the iPad, with the, with, 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 with the, with the Blackberry, and they are so caught up with Facebook and, and, and with Twitter. They have no time for God. They meant to be shot for three years, and it didn't rain. By the word, we don't. And a power over waters to turn them into blood. That sound like when Moses went to Egypt and by the word of God turned the river Nile into blood. There are some folks who preserve the Bible so you can have them. There ain't the will. I am forgiven because you are the same. And I am accepted. And I am alive and well. Your spirit lives within me because you died and rose again. Most of us, if not all, we were meeting each other for the first time in our lives. And there we were, using our talents and our gifts and working together as one for this mission. We had one purpose, one goal, and one mission in mind. And that was for the souls in need of meeting Jesus Christ, our Savior. We divided into small groups and taking turns, we'd go into the homes of the villages and introduce ourselves and let them know who we are and what we're doing in Belladrum and personally inviting them to the meetings. For some of us, it was our first trip and it was uncomfortable conditions, I must say, but we worked together and we were able to learn so much more about evangelism, but most of all, who we are as Christians. I can attest that through the Holy Spirit, God in all of his power and glory has revealed himself on this mission trip. We have seen the mighty power of God and what he can do if we would but just give up ourselves and surrender our will to him. Souls were taken from the snare of the devil, lives were transformed, changed, and I know that our lives will never be the same. And it's my joy to honor you. I honor you. You are my key. Hi, this is Hi, welcome um, today's our first day here at work. You know, so far, it's been good. We uh, came to the Indian village and just uh, inviting people to uh, to proceed in Revelation. So, um, we'll tune back in tomorrow, day two, and have an update. One thing that has stood out for me throughout this whole entire experience would definitely have to be the morning devotions and the prayer and fasting sessions. We all took turns in conducting worship each morning and we spent the first hour in song and
down by the land. I want to know everything about that man. John saw the day, but he could not see night. The lamb of God, well, he must be the light. He saw the saints worship the great I am, crying worthy. Worthy is the man. I want to go to that city he saw, New Jerusalem. Right this. All the problem is keeping me down, and I think that I'm living. I think because I reached 25, I'm living. I think because I'm 40, I'm living. Huh? I don't start to live if I don't have eternal life. That rascal has been living a long time, the Bible said. But now we know that he has but a short time. The Bible let us know one thing. And I don't want to forget this one thing. The Bible said the wage of sin is what? Not the wage of sin, everybody. The wage of sin is death. But the gift of God is a what? It's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let us repeat that. We also had fun. And we spent some quality time together as a team going to a village called Lalooni, where we were last year. And we spent some time with the people that we worked with. And it was fun. I would also say it was dangerous. But it was very relaxing. And it allowed our team members, it allowed the team members to truly spend some time with one another and also prepare ourselves for the work ahead. Hi, right, this is Nicholas. He's taking out the boat. Nicholas, I saw something big just move in this water, you know. Kind of, yeah, kind of hold it. Stop right. Alright, Sister Shanda, you are not in the first batch, but um, I think we'll live to sit till the tea. <laughs> I think so too. We were the wise people, right? <laughs> we let them go first, and then if anything happened, we just return, we right? Return, right? <laughs> Who am I that the boys that calm the sea would cut loud through the rain and calm the storm in me? This is where we went for visitation last year in Sue's Dyke, in Lumi, um, a family, and it's amazing the people here. But because of you are, I am a flower quickly fading, here today and gone tomorrow, a wave tossed in the ocean, a vapor in the wind still you. Hear me when I'm calling, Lord, you catch me when I'm falling, and you told me who I am. I am yours. How about the plan? Oh, it was fun. It was, it was okay, I guess. Oh, was it wasn't like what I thought with alligators and uh, anacondas. I was kind of scared at first, but then when you I done, was like, sailing, I enjoyed myself. So were you looking for them? Oh yeah, I was looking in the water, make sure I wasn't seeing no eyes. <laughs> not because of what I have done, but because of who you are.